All right, we are back. As I said in my last stream, um, I'm going to do this, and that's going to be it for the day. <laughs> These are just some things I picked up today or got in the mail today. And um, this was also one that was on the shelf by itself, by its lonesome. You can just leave it, you know? You can't just leave it there. So we're going to rip into this um, tops update. And, uh, yeah, who knows what we'll find, because these are the ones, if I remember correctly, you can find the MLB um, debut patches in here. Uh, highly unlikely. I know there's quite a hand, uh, handful out there still, from what I remember seeing. Um, so, we're just going to see. My big thing with uh, baseball, because I'm very, very fresh getting back into baseball, um, is Corbin Carroll. So, if I can get any Corbin Carroll... Um, even if it's base, I'm happy. And more often than not, I don't pull him, so. Shh, nothing in there. You get so much with these boxes, too. So for 25 bucks, it's pretty, pretty nice. Obviously, it's just a lot of base, but. Yeah, let's go over here, too. Let's just go over real quick. One second. What? You know, what you can look for in here. Um, look for autograph cards guaranteed to include three all-new base card parallels. Uh, it's a 330 base card set. Um, orange and black parallels. Let's see. Uh, Jack-o'-lantern rares, ghost rares, mummies pack. So this is actually the Halloween. The update has the Halloween stuff, which I've never pulled one, which would be cool. Um, and they're obviously numbered based on um, their rarity. I've seen a Jack-o'-lantern one on eBay, I think. So it's neat. I would definitely love to pull some of those. Um, 330 card base set. Um, one in 10 packs is a rainbow foil. Uh, golds are numbered to 2023, which I've pulled that before. Um, not out of one of these. I think it was the big like $45 uh, kind of box where you get a pin and all this different stuff. Blue foils to 99, uh, 999. Green foil to 499. And then platinum parallels, one of one. Interesting. I didn't know you could pull one of ones out of here. Um, Action Stars, that's one of the inserts. Laid Out is another. Um, I pulled Action Stars pretty frequently. I feel like you get one in every pack usually. Um, All-Star Games, Tops, Black Chrome, Chrome Stars of the MLB, and Heavy Lumber, which is uh, when you get wood in it, I believe, um, from a bat. So there's a lot in here to be had. So it'd be cool to find anything. This one seems thicker. I don't think it actually is, though, but we'll do that one last. All this stuff from opening all these today. <laughs> but if you're new to the channel, I am Gabe the Collector, and I'm going to start streaming my rips instead of making videos for the moment because it's just too much time, and I just don't have it right now. All right, Garrett Acklin, Matt Moore. Why is there a backwards card back there? Caleb. Gilbert, Dominic Fletcher. There's, I'm not going to pronounce all these names. We're just going to not do that. <laughs> I do need to set a rookie Bam pile. I don't have to, but I'm like OCD, and I like to do that. There's our rookies right here. I like the new Marlins logo. Oh, it's because they're Miami? Wait a second. Oh, I'm thinking of Mariners, which is Seattle. Because I was like, that's a different logo. But those are different teams, that's why. But that logo's sick. So these are the rookie debuts. I like those that kind of, you know, they show the date. And obviously, you would assume that picture is from uh, their debut, which is neat. Okay, we got a blue here. Um, rookie Cole Reagans the rangers we do have a backwards here but this should just be our action hero and i've actually pulled this uh jeremy pinna before oh we got one cody bellinger too which to my knowledge is a pretty good player um very fresh like i said so i could be wrong but i'm super hyped about that that's cool um and then we got um like i said the stars of the mlb um for Jeremy Pena, which I've actually pulled before. So this should be numbered, right? I don't think it says it's numbered, but this is one of those special parallels that you can do. 
So the jack o' lantern's just the rare. So that's like the most basic one you can get because there's the rare, the ultra rare, and then there's the ones that become numbered. But hey, we'll take that. That's cool. And I think, like I said, I believe he's actually a pretty, pretty great player. So we'll take that. And then we got our blue here, which is not numbered. Um, it's just a pair. Another thing with baseball, I know they do like short prints and stuff, and I have no idea how to tell. Because <laughs> like it'll be like a photo and like photo variations and like, I'm just like, I, uh... <laughs> it's something I talk about in the discord I'm in for arena club is like overall being back into this hobby. It's just, there's a lot to it now. It's so overwhelming. like chronicles when you gotta switch it every take it's wild rookie debut on the joey ortiz there my camera's not one to focus very well for you guys there we go just looking down here i guess Hey, this is the 88 throwbacks. I really love these. Um, I just like the style of the old cards a lot more. Um, so it's neat to get these. So we got a rookie here on the throwback. Let's get that over here since it's kind of like an insert. So this is the um, ASG, which is the all-star game. Okay, and then on our stars of the MOB, Randy. Rosarena. Rosarena. That's one of the reasons I'm not going to pronounce everybody's name because I'm probably going to butcher a lot of them. Especially when you're not familiar. Something on the back, but it might just be the stars of the MLB because it seems like I said you get one of those every. It's kind of in the middle, so I'm not sure. Right future, two of the games and best chat pregame. So that's Trout, and I'm not sure who Rodriguez is. So that's Mike Trout. And another one here, third Dodgers pitcher to reach this milestone. Clayton's 2000. So many rookies. Oh, and we have backwards here. Hey, oh, this is the, what is this, the orange and blacks? It's not a numbered card, I don't think, but Witt and Perez celebrate a walk-off. I'll just set that one here for you. Like I said, I don't think that's one of the ones that look like feet. It's just a variant kind of thing. We do have, uh, what's that called? That's the, so this is stars of the MLB, which like I said, you seem to get one in every time. Um, action stars. We have an action stars here. Okay, let's go pull these forward here. Ooh, we got a purple here. Man, we got all kinds of stuff in this one. That's a neat looking card. It's numbered to seven ninety nine on the Michael Fulmer purple. It's kind of like a shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but. Yeah, see, it's kind of like a shimmer. And then this is just probably a silver prism. I doubt that's numbered. Yeah, that's not numbered. And then we have our stars of the MLB on Taj Bradley, rookie there. And then here's our action stars. Come on, Corbin. Nope, not Corbin. Jazz Chis Chisholm Jr. for the Miami Mar uh, Marlins. Keep getting that mixed up. They're, they're not the Marlins. always a team I feel like it was I'm so like I said I've watched ba uh, baseball when I was younger with my my dad um, a little bit here and there and I'm uh, went to some Reds games when I was younger but I've always just kind of been in and out of it because for me watching baseball 
isn't the most exciting unless you're there. I've changed a little bit now that I've gotten older. I kind of, I've been watching a lot of highlights and stuff, and I've enjoyed it. Um, so I'm so green when it comes to teams and players, especially now. I briefly got back into it at one point when we had Billy Hamilton on the Reds. And he was a rookie, and he was just tearing it up, stealing bases. It was wild to watch. That's one reason I like Corbin Carroll. He's so fast. Morel homers in five straight games. Castell Castellanos in India. It's Johnny India, right? Um, catch up on base paths. Steve Smith, Julio Urias, Urias. All right, three more packs. Nothing too crazy. I mean, that uh, rare pumpkin variant on the Cody Bellinger is pretty solid. I think that's probably going to be like thing we hit. Right, rookie debut here. I like the rookie debut cards, like I said. All right, should I flip it, or is it just going to have to be flipped again? You get so many rookies in these. All right, we got somebody here. What is that trophy for? Michael Harris, the second rookie debut. Tops. All-star. I see it still held. Is it all-star rookie? I would assume since he's a rookie, but. So is that a rookie that gets to play in the all-star game, maybe? You guys have to let me know if you have any information on some of this stuff, because I'm not familiar with it. Okay, we got a numbered here. <laughs> Out of 999, which was, I think, like a teal. Oh, and then we got another here. Alir Hernandez on the rookie card, and this was the, like, uh, orange and blacks. Seems like when we get color, we get a lot of color together. Dylan Cease. So let's see here. This is an all-star game one we're just going to use here. Who is this? Brewers, maybe? Oh, Pirates. Vince Velasquez on the blue. This was our all-star game here on... Dansbury, uh, Dansby Swanson. Um, so on the blue, kind of like a shimmer, and that's out of 999, 451. Those are cool. I love these like shimmers like that. That's sick. I know that's not the actual name, I don't think. Shimmers uh, exclusive to, I believe shimmers are exclusive to first off the line, right? But that's Panini. So maybe this is kind of tops their shimmer. I don't know. It's neat. You get, a, you get a lot of numbered out of these baseball updates, unless maybe that maybe I'm just lucky, but I feel like I've gotten numbered out of it a lot. So. Still have not even gotten a base Gordon Garrel. It's just so rude. A, another 88 for Nolan Jones with the Rockies. What's that say? Yeah, there's the Rockies. says that there. Sorry, I was looking at the other one. So the Rockies, I love the 88s. They're cool. And a Logan Ohop, uh, Ohape rookie card for the start of the MLB. And into our last pack. You know, we've pulled some decent stuff. Like I said, that Cody Bellinger, I think, was... Probably the best thing we're going to pull. I don't know. Maybe I'll call you my words. I'll gladly eat my words. So, Adam Duvall, Jose, Chris Bryan. Rookie debut on the Michael Bush. I like this action shot here. 
Kevin Kamara. Kamara. Sorry, sir. Butchered the shit out of that, buddy. Man, we just. Spencer Strider on our stars of MLB. No Corbins. Unfortunate, but it's okay. This is our base stack. Here's our rookie stack. Probably missed a couple because the rookie shield isn't always in the same place. So these are our inserts, mostly uh, mostly stars of MOB, but we did get one action stars, and then we did get two 88s, um, both rookies. So let me do that all real quick. Pass that on there, just to kind of have some organization there. And then um, just going through here, we got what? Two numbered, one reasonably low. One was out of uh, one ninety nine, right? So you got your your silver here of Richard Blyer. Uh, positive on his pitch pronunciation was accurate there. We got Cole Raggins on the rookie here for just a blue. And then we have uh, Elir Hernandez rookie for the orange and blacks, which are kind of cool looking. And then we have Witt and Perez celebrate the walk off for the orange and black as well. And then we move into um, our numbered cards. So we got um, ones out of seven ninety nine and ones out of nine ninety nine. Um, so you, your blue is the nine hundred ninety nine, and that was on the Vince Val uh, Velasquez. And then on the purple here, like I said, they're kind of like a shimmer for the Michael uh, Fulmer. Neither one were rookies. But this one's out of the seven ninety nine. And then this pretty sick um, Cody Bellinger uh, for the Chicago Cubs on on the Jack O' Lantern, which is just the rare. Um, it's the ease. I mean, it's rare, but it's the easiest of these to pull of the Halloween variants. But we'll take it because I've never pulled one when we were, you know, getting ready. Um, when we were talking about it. I was like, oh, I've never pulled any of these, but I've seen the jack o' lantern. So now we have one in hand. So nothing too crazy, but still always nice to pull numbered because I don't think we're guaranteed. Seven packs, three value box exclusives. Not sure. I guess the value box exclusives will probably be these orange and greens. Um, but yeah, I don't think you're guaranteed any numbered cards. So I think we did pretty well. But not big on baseball. Like I said, I'm getting back into it. Um, and so, like, it's going to be probably the least amount of content on this channel um just because i'm so unfamiliar so uh that'll be it for this i don't have any more baseball on my radar when it comes to buying anything uh, update series has been the only thing i think i bought to be honest so um not sure how much more will be coming your way more often than not it's going to be football uh wrestling i mean i do a little bit of everything but those are kind of the big ones when if it's not like tcg stuff so um yeah thanks for stopping by the stream guys i really appreciate